Have you ever wondered about how the content you consume on the news is chosen? Why is something considered important enough to be on the front page and how something you might think is newsworthy doesn't even make it to the paper? Hello, I am Neha Saha and today I will be explaining the ins and outs of framing theory. This theory is very vital in understanding the effects of the news media on the masses. The big question we are trying to answer today is how exactly does the mass media influence the audience? In this video, we will be explaining what exactly framing theory is, the important terms related to it with the help of examples from the current news media. And hopefully, after watching this, you will become a more intelligent media consumer. Before starting, let me ask you, what is your understanding of framing theory and how does it affect you? Let's start with a brief history on the topic. This theory was first proposed in 1974 by Irving Goffman, a renowned sociologist and writer, and is closely linked to the agenda-setting theory. He had initially written it in his article titled The Frame Analysis. Before going deeper into the theory, we must understand the consumers or the audience. There are considered to be two types of audience who consume media, the active and the passive audience. The active audience consumes media while questioning it at every turn and can demand the content that they want to watch. Whereas a passive audience consumes media as it is given without questioning or doubting and consuming it blindly. The framing theory is constructed on the basis that the audience is passive. Now let us understand what exactly the framing theory is. There are millions of events that are going on in the world at any particular point of time. Framing is the act of choosing which of these events is to be brought into the attention of the audience and cast it through various media channels. This includes television, newspapers and even radio. The amalgamation of all the things which brought to the attention of the audience is known as field of view. We must now understand two important terms that have to do with this theory. These are frame building and frame setting. Frame building in simple words is the act of media channels and owners choosing what to bring into the field of view of the audience. This may be based on factors such as geography or emergency, but in other cases it may also be based on things like political agenda and pressure, which is when it may have negative effects on the society as it shows a biased image of what is going on around us. Frame setting is how the audience consumes said content and how it may affect their views, ideologies and mindset. The same news can also be spinned to be framed in a positive or negative manner. Let me explain with an example. Say you are selling second-hand clothing on social media. Words such as second-hand or used have a negative connotation behind it. It may sound cheap and may deter people from buying such items. On the other hand, in place of these words, if you were to use words such as pre-loved or pre-used, this may provoke people to buy these goods as the connotation is much more positive. In this way, new stories can also be twisted in a good or bad way. The same information can give a totally different message. Let us see a recent example from the news media. So that's Priyanka Gandhi Vadra who's joined some of these sit-in protests uh, against what happened at Janamehar University speaking against the central government. But remember, no politician is willing to pacify emotions right now so that more violence doesn't take place. Students from uh, universities across Telangana have gathered here. All of them uh, holding placards, raising slogans and also holding the national flag to say that don't label us as anti-national. We are very much within their constitution and we are demanding our rights. Hence, while consuming media, we must be vigilant. We must take a deeper look ask questions and ensure that we are consuming facts rather than ideologies. So now that we have all understood what exactly the framing theory is, 
Let us test your knowledge with this short quiz. Question number one. The way in which the audience consumes media and the effects it has on them is known as The answer is frame setting. Question 2. The term used for all the content which is brought to the attention of the audience is called The field of view. And finally, the last question. Name some factors which may influence how media owners choose what should be released to the audience. There are factors such as geography and emergency, but it is most commonly political agenda. Thank you all for tuning in. We hope that we helped you learn about how to become a more knowledgeable media consumer. Happy learning!